Catherine Freshly is here today, and uh, I don't know how tired she is, but a long meeting yesterday yeah. for uh, the regular meeting of uh, GRF, uh, their November meeting. Uh, it was almost seven hours. That would include the recess that was in there, which was about 30 right. minutes. And I um, uh, want to tell you that when we play that, that uh, we played it last night, we didn't include the recess, but now we're gonna replay it on, an, on okay. a, a DVD Good. that will Thank be you. in there. So just to yeah. let you know. Anyway, um, you had a lot done. Yes. And as you were saying, the, uh, you know, with the new board members uh, yeah. and yourself, uh, it takes a little bit longer because people are getting used to the, sort of the cadence of the meeting, if you will. What? Yeah, and this is one of the things that, you know, that we, we had a, a very full of agenda, mm -hmm. and and for those of you who watched uh, in the beginning, we moved Thank you. we moved four items that would that had traditionally been covered in closed session, and right. we actually brought them into open session. So that in itself kind of surprised people because, and and we'll try to do a better job when we're setting up our agendas, so that um, because those people who were in attendance didn't have the opportunity to see what the subject right. was going to be for those four items. Right. But, uh, you know, uh, and as, as Stanley uh, uh, Felstein has said, you know, we got to be very careful what we put in closed session mm -hmm. because it's important for the community to have an understanding of right. a lot of the different issues that we were talking about. And some of those were like you know, just the issue of, uh, of, of basically considering uh, legal documents as to should we be opening to the community mm -hmm. you know particularly old documents right and 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 we talked about it and and yeah we we will we want to make sure that this kind of information becomes available to the community so if somebody's doing some research trying to understand uh, the nature and the history of the community they have an opportunity to see what legal opinions had been offered many years ago that have been put away yeah that's a good point you know so we're trying to be we're trying to make sure that we're very transparent because that's one of the things that many of us have argued about and particularly after uh, the, a couple years ago when things mm -hmm. were occurring and, and, most, uh, and, the, and even the housing mutual boards were not aware of things that were happening which created issues for us and created the disturbances that the community has observed over mm -hmm. the last couple years. You know, GRF sets the standard for the community, I think, mm -hmm of how we're going to manage going forward and that's really what we're what we're trying to do and be out front with everybody so there isn't any hidden agendas we're open about right. where we're trying to go and we're trying to communicate to people and i think i think we overall did a reasonable job of that one of the things that i found interesting and this was under unfinished business i'm just going to jump yeah, to this fine. if you don't mind and uh it is entertain a motion to approve revisions to the event policy, event sponsorship policy. And as the discussion was going on, there were really kind of a couple different sides of that. One was GRF sponsoring events, right. and we you do do that. That's you, right. Recreational yep. say this is a GRF sponsored That's event. That's right. And then of course there are other events that were brought up during the discussion. For instance, there might be uh, a club. Right. You have a big club meeting, you go there and someone mentioned, well, there were vendors from this company and that company and, the, you know, and although it is when, within sort of the confines of that particular club, right. whatever club it may be, that was something that was discussed. So there was different facets of this. And these are, yeah, and, and, and one of the reasons that our meeting ran so darn long, because on some of these topics, you know, and, and this is one of the things that we're going to find is that Although these may come from a committee, mm -hmm. let's recognize that the GRF committees in accordance with the bylaws have three, R, three GRF directors and has two directors from the house, major housing right. mutuals and one from towers. So they may have quite a bit of discussion and when they may uh, have a topic then that they're bringing a resolution or something mm -hmm. like this to bring into the board, for the rest of the board members, it becomes the first time that, that the mm -hmm. board has had a chance to discuss right. it. As a board, we're not going to try to go, you know, and in, in, in secret talk about all these things. Mm -hmm. So when you get to the board, there's no conversation. We just say, yeah, we approve or don't approve. I don't think that's fair to the community mm -hmm. because the community doesn't have as much participation in the committee meetings. Right. And so 
the board meeting is an opportunity for the community to have a better understanding mm -hmm. of what is happening. That's been one, of, in my opinion, that's been really one of the complaints that we've had because oftentimes we'll have at board meetings where people say, well, come to the committee meeting if you want to find out what's going on. Right. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's true. Yes. And at the board meeting, because so the board meeting should be structured so we're done very quickly. But unfortunately, in a community as ours, the committee meetings are not televised. Right. We have many residents that, for whatever reason, may not even be able to get and observe what's happening mm -hmm. or come to a committee meeting, or they do have other activities. Right. So I guess my view is, and maybe our, our board meetings might run a little bit longer, only because I feel it's important for us to allow the conversation to take place mm -hmm. to really talk about the topic. Now, what we need to do, and that, that, that is a burden on me, is to make sure that I don't allow a dialogue to begin to take place uh, within the board and maybe be a little bit more structured. Everybody gets a chance to speak mm -hmm. once before. Uh, we have two and three. And, and, and I didn't do a good job of controlling that yesterday. Well, just, you'll get there. I know I'll you get will. There. <laughs> but then, but I, I, I just found this, this particular topic very interesting. It's a, it, it, because it's a tough one. It's a tough one, and I believe it was, um, is it Joanne? It, uh, Joanne, uh, yeah. De Lorenzo. De Lorenzo, yeah. She brought up a, a very good point saying, well, do having these sponsors here, we're talking about local companies and things like that. Well, no, that was is, Carol Moore. Oh, so, well, but they talk, one, one of them talked about, is it, okay. I, Carol I, Moore talked about when it we could have be a benefit. The, the senior, when we have Right, the, that was it. I that's apologize. right, when, when, yeah. we have the, when we have the, the senior games. Yeah. And, and, you know, and we get these shirts and it caught, we pay, I think it's $10 to participate. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all know a t-shirt is seldom do you find one. Yeah. It's going to be $10. Yeah. And there is a cost to putting on the games and you've got all the medals and things like yeah. this. So there's a, you know, you take a look at the shirt and you see all the different people that sponsor. Mm -hmm. Now, are we going to say that we don't want to have any sponsorship then? Right. It's a complicated issue. It's a complicated issue. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that the board is really working hard at is, you know, is that over the years we've allowed our gates to be pretty much open. Mm -hmm. And yet we're supposed to be a closed community. And so we're really wrestling with this issue. How open is open? Yes. You know, or how closed is closed? Yeah, I, you, you know, you make a good point. And even <laughs> you know? when, uh, let's say, a club sets up something via recreation and they may or may, may, or may not even say we're going to have vendors there or we are and then the recreation staff may go, well, yeah, I think this is allowed. We're not in. It, it's a very, um, it, 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 it's a very uh, fine line as far as when it gets crossed and when it doesn't. Right. And it's very hard to define, isn't it? And one of the issues that we also have, and we're and we're going to be reviewing and talking through, is that we have uh, some members who will rent rooms and then turn them over to outside. Yeah. To, to outside groups. Right, right. Totally and turn them to over. Totally turn yes. them And so outside groups are using our rooms at very yeah. reduced rates. And that's a very clear cut one, And that's I a think. very yeah. clear cut one. But yeah. I know recently where I had uh, one of my, uh, a, a good friend, her husband uh, passed. Mm -hmm. And she was trying to find a room to have, have a wake. And it was very difficult to find a room because it's being used by, you know, our, our, our facilities yeah. are very heavily used. Yes, they are. Just try to rent a room sometime. Right. And, and so sometimes we need to really take a look then at the policy and say, yeah. are we careful as to how we're allowing these rooms to be rented and by whom? Yeah. And they're going to get very tighter right. when the renovations come to Clubhouse too. That's right. So right away, although uh, I think... Um, uh, someone was on, it might have been either uh, Mary Stone or Carol Moore that mentioned there are some clubs that meet in large rooms, they, we can find them in smaller rooms in the right. interim, but still, let's face it, it's going to get tighter Absolutely. over the next uh, Absolutely. 18 months or however yeah. long it's going to be. So uh, it's a lot of these issues here are not always clear cut. They're not. As much as everyone would want them to be both the boards and, of course, staff. It's actually easier for staff if it's clear-cut. They can go, yes, no, That's we right. know. But uh, some of them, they just can't be. 
and we're trying yeah. to make sure that we've we've got a policy that's fairly clearly to, to help staff. Yeah. Because unfortunately, staff is the one that gets blamed, mm -hmm. and, and 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 staff is really only trying to follow the rules that the boards have established. Right. Exactly. See. And yeah. so we as boards have to be far more careful, and 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 in defining uh, the, the, the limits and the rules. Right. And yeah. that takes time. It does. A um, couple other things that were, they were brought off the uh, closed session, right. zoning and trademarks. Right. Well, the, the zoning issue, actually, um, this is one I had a meeting with, uh, with uh, Chris Robinson and Christine mm -hmm. uh, Curry uh, with, uh, with the city with uh, with Chris Macon and uh, and mm -hmm. Doug uh, Riley yeah because as we're all aware the uh, the facility not the facilities but the I'm trying to think of the plan the, the specific plan specific plan in the general specific yes. plan was was which was discovered last spring at a, at a meeting where a presentation was being made at the water board at the mm -hmm. water district and yeah. uh, Carol Moore and I were there and happened to see, and here's a picture of a 437,000 square foot building to be constructed on our property. Mm -hmm. And both of us sat there dumbfounded because we had been, and I had specifically been on the committee in 2011 that basically said, this is what we wanted done with our land and all of it was basically open space mm -hmm. or to be for community use and was not to be zoned anything but open space mm -hmm. to our knowledge say and so this had drifted along and we had spent uh, over a million dollars in consultants on this kind of thing so by the time the specific plan and and the grf board previously and i think they voted in august or september mm -hmm. to, to stop it and we're only now getting to the final point the final bill is coming in uh, we still owe the city seventy three thousand dollars in invoice coming in mm -hmm which will be the final payment uh, for all the work and activities done on the specific plan. The meeting that we had on, on Monday and was reported at yesterday to the board yeah. was setting up and, and we passed a resolution then for, for the general plan going forward which would, uh, which would set the proper zoning that would be consistent with what we as a community have said we wanted and basically we would all of the areas uh, would be uh, open space, recreation, which gives us flexibility, mm -hmm. and the one area that has our maintenance area right. is still going to be um, um, trying to uh, urban. Um, what do they call it? Uh, there's a there's a term that's that is applied to that area, which allows that for that area to be used as it is, and we'll be more specific later okay. as to what it's going to be, but it was urban activity uh, 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 area or something okay. like that. That's what it was called. And so we're going to, we'll address that one a little bit later. And in order for the city to process through this, uh, it's going to cost us uh, $25,000. Right, and that was explained uh, yeah. how, yes, it costs us money because yeah. The city is not going to do this stuff for free. They have to be reimbursed. That's right. And, I mean, uh, yeah. it, we're a private community, yeah. and when private, uh, when private uh, owner, when when communities that are privately held want the city to change any zoning or thing, you pay for it. Yes. And so, and one of the things I learned through the discussion was uh, because you know part of rezoning is to let everybody around you know that you're rezoning. Yes, and you brought that up. Yeah, very See? good. Yeah. So we've got to let everybody who's within 300 feet of our property, okay, know that we're one of requesting the rezoning so mm -hmm. they have a right to object or a right to agree. And so that means that all of the houses that are, as you go south on Moulton Parkway, mm -hmm. all those up to the right where we got some of the churches and yes. things like that, they're all going to get letters or they're going to get asked, uh, do you agree or disagree? And it, all of the industri all the commercial facilities, yeah. everybody, all those owners will get a letter saying, this is what the what La Laguna Woods Village wants to do or the Golden Rain Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any objection to this? And so it's going to take us three to four months. And the city's best estimate was that they thought about $25,000 
uh, would cover the cost of doing this, and so we passed a resolution to, to move forward with that. And we've got a meeting set up now with the city, which will be on the 15th of, uh, of December, just a kind of a progress report to see where we are as we're filling out all the paperwork so that they can get started to, at the first of the year. All right, very good, Catherine. Uh, thank you for coming on. Anything else you'd like to add? Only that I think one of the things that I really want to make sure that, that, that the community understands, and because there's a lot of people out there saying that the GRF board has made decisions that we're going to change the government's, governance structure or anything like this, that's not true. We did have a, we did uh, the associa. Uh, I had been on the board, on the GRF board three days and associa requested uh, a meeting. Mm -hmm. And so of all the boards, we did have a meeting. Uh, Joey Corona was here, made a presentation uh, to us all. Basically was saying, yeah, we understand you've had some difficulties because GRF had, had indicated this uh, in, in previous months. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and basically one of the things I was very surprised at, he said, I don't know whether you guys realize, but you guys have always been self-managed. That's a term that people were using negatively. He said, look, you know, the, you know, regardless of who you hire, your boards are the ones that are making the decisions. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's not as if the boards, you're never going to be in a situation with a community this size that the boards are going to run anything. The boards are going right. to sit there and they're going to hire you know, either they're going to they're going to hire the people who are required to run the community for you, and that uh, and and so this community could not work with all without all the employees, and right. without the people. Exactly. You know, who would and, wear and, a bow tie? Well, <laughs> <laughs> because there's the facilities here that this community needs and ap and absolutely needs. Yes. And the only the only real question is is there any question is is the governance the appropriate or not? Yeah, this kind of governance is appropriate. The only question is, who you know? How does it? Who who provides the general manager? Mm -hmm. It's really what it comes down to. Right. You know? that, that's really all it is. Nothing else changes. And 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 who does uh, PCM Inc. exist? Mm -hmm. It will always exist. Right. Who manages it? Right. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. And, and you know, it was interesting because your next guest here, who's a director from uh, from the, uh, you know, the um, the college board. College yeah. board. They work the same way. Mm -hmm. They got a seven member board. The seven member board hires the chancellor. The chancellor then runs the runs the community. Runs right. the runs the, runs the school. Same kind of situation. It's just a matter of. How you know uh, who who the chancellor reports to you know mm -hmm. reports to and who payroll is that chancellor on? Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. Right. It's amazing when you really stop and think about it from an organizational standpoint. Nothing is changing here, other than we're going to make sure that the community is functioning as we all desire. All right. Very good. It's, it's really all it's about. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on after You're a long welcome. meeting yesterday. Yeah. And uh, you I'm going to do better to make All sure right. we have shorter meetings. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you. Thank you.